Hello and welcome to BMC Discovery. In this video, we are going to take a look on how to perform appliance backup and restore in BMC Discovery. Let's log into the appliance with system user. Go to the administration. From appliance section, click on backup and restore. The appliance backup feature allows you to backup the data store and critical configuration files. With BMC Discovery, you have two type of backup options available. First one is local and the second one is remote. When the backup type is selected as on appliance, it means that the backup will be returned to the same machine on which the BMC Discovery is running right now. This is the local backup. You can have only one copy of the backup at the time. You need to make sure that enough space is available in the appliance for the backup to be saved and previous on appliance backup will be overwritten when new backup is being created. The next type is the remote backup. When the backup type is selected as SSH, it means that the backup is returned to a remote server over SSH. When the backup type is selected as Windows Share, it means that the backup is returned to a Windows Share. Let's start with on appliance backup. In the notes section, you can add notes about the backup. Let's take a look at the options. These are common for local and remote backup type. The first one is verify backup. When verify backup is selected, it means that the appliance will verify that the file in the backup archive are same as those on the appliance. We recommend you to do so. The next option is include sensitive data. If you select this option, then backup will include appliance world where all the credentials are stored appliance key, appliance certificate, and the appliance user interface users. If you don't select this option, then you can see over here that the key and certificate, security data, and word will not be part of the backup. We recommend you to pick this option. The next option is encrypt backup. When encryption backup is selected, then the backup will include the security data used by RESTful API. If you have any integration with BMC Discovery that are using the REST API, then you should select this checkbox. Otherwise, existing API access token will not work with the restore system and you have to issue them again. Once this option is selected, you have to enter encryption passphrase. It will be asked again at the time of restoring the backup. The next option is email when complete. Once the backup is completed, email will be automatically sent to this particular user. The next option is reduce backup size. This option will make the backup file smaller. For example, if this option is checked, then you can see over here the backup size became 3.8 GB. And when this option is not selected, then the backup size became 6.5 GB. The backups are faster and smaller using reduce backup size option. Because when this option is selected, data store indexes are removed. However, please note that it will then take you longer to restore the backup because the indexes will be recreated at the time of restore. For now, we will skip this option. Here in this section, you can see that the appliance backup only store data and critical configuration. The custom configuration and report will not be part of the backup. It means that once the backup is restored from one appliance to another, you have to reconfigure these settings again. Now let's click on shutdown and backup and click on OK. Here you can see the progress of the backup from user interface. You can also track this progress from command line. Log into the discovery appliance with Tideway user. Go to log folder. Execute the command tail hyphen F followed by TW underscore backup log. In this log file, you can track the progress of the backup as well. The appliance backup feature will allow you to clone the content and the identity of the discovery appliance. It can be then used to build a new UAT or development or test system for discovery appliance. You can prepare another discovery appliance for disaster recovery. And it can also be used to archive the backup outside the appliance. You can use this backup for upgrade as well. If you want to upgrade CentOS 6 or Red Hat 6 based appliance to CentOS 7 appliance, you must migrate. 
Migration involves backing up your existing CentOS 6 appliance and restoring it on a new BMC Discovery CentOS 7 appliance. Please note that this is not a full server backup as it does not back up the operating system or the core discovery code. So if you want to take a backup of the entire discovery appliance as it is, you have to use the VMware level snapshot. This backup can be taken from one discovery appliance and restored on another fully built discovery appliance. Here you can see that the backup is completed and you will get the user interface access back. Let's log in again. The user interface will take you back to the backup and restore page where you can see that the backup is created successfully. Click on show details. Here you can see the details of the backup. For the next step, please continue with the part 2 of this video. That's all in this session for right now. Thank you for watching.